Okay. You can shush. Hello there. Right, we've had our countdown. It's the top of the hour and it is indeed Saturday evening. Uh, uh, no, it's not. It's not Saturday. Usually I'm broadcasting at the weekend. I'm getting all kerfuffled. My name's Leonard Sultana. Uh, I go out on An Englishman in San Diego uh, doing a, a live show on a Wednesday and a Sunday, which is what you would usually expect to see on the, the YouTube channel, which uh, if you're watching on that. Uh, but if you're watching on the Tripwire Facebook and also on John Meadows Facebook as well, this is something a little bit special. Uh, it's something that's been a long time coming, and um, thankfully it's now here. It is the Tripwire Awards 2020. Uh, it's something I've been uh, honored to be a part of uh, as part of the uh, creation team, uh, putting together the uh, the nominations, and then also organizing this as well. It's our live online uh, awards presentation. Um, we're gonna tell you more about the awards, but I think it's first uh, only fair that I introduce my uh, co-host, uh, for this particular endeavor. Uh, it's time to welcome Joel Meadows to uh, the screen. Hello, Joel. How are you, sir? Oh. Hopefully there you can go. Try again. <laughs> there you go. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Tripwire Awards 2020. I'm Tripwire's editor-in-chief, Joel Meadows. With me virtually is Tripwire's contributing writer and our man in the north, Len Sultana. Originally, it was intended that these would have been announced at the Portsmouth Comic Con this year, but that show was put back to next year, sadly. We had hundreds of people voting in this, so we decided we'd move online for this year. Thanks to everyone who supported us with this since the beginning of this year, including everyone who's voted, and we shall get started. We'd like to dedicate this ceremony to comics legend Denny O'Neill, who sadly died last week. Back to Leonard. Uh, well, you see, you beat me to it. Um, yes. Now, at this point, uh, just to explain, um, that did sound a little bit pre-recorded, pre-rehearsed. That is because Joel has got himself a nice I'm little script. Sorry. He's, he's ready to go. He's ready, ready to go. To but hopefully we're going to be a little bit more um, relaxed and uh, free as we go throughout the course of the evening because uh, it is a celebration of comics after all. I've got my uh, glass of... Um, I've got my uh, glass of vodka. Bubbly. You've got your vodka. I've got something a little bit bubbly. Uh, and we'll... Uh, yes, it's, um, it, it's, it's going to be something very exciting with uh, the awards. Um, like Joel said, uh, it is a case of... Uh, um, bringing uh, the best uh, uh, of uh, talent from across the globe uh, to light. It's uh, our way of um, spotlighting the best of the last 12 and the rest uh, <laughs> months. Uh, obviously, with uh, the way that uh, the world has uh, developed over the last uh, 12 months, it was going to be something that we had to uh, celebrate. We wanted to honour not only the, the work of 2019 and 2020, but also those hundreds of awards, uh, those nominations and uh, votes that came in uh, for those uh, particular categories. Right, so let's dive straight into it then. Um, we have ourselves uh, these uh, categories, and I, I suppose a bit of an introduction first. Um, launched in 2019, uh, the Trip Rye Awards were created to be an annual showcase of the very best in uh, comic talent uh, in publishing in the UK and abroad. Joel, I mean, if you could just uh, explain what was the motivation really to uh, put the Trip Rye Awards together? Of course. I mean, Tripwire's existed, started as a magazine back in 1992. We switched to a website in 2015, um, and we wanted to put something back into the industry. You know, the, everyone's been incredibly kind with their time and very generous with their time over the last few years, and we just thought it's time to, to celebrate the talent that's out there in, in its various forms, whether they're writers, artists, letterers, editors, publishers, the websites and the, and the magazines that cover them. We just thought it was time for us to, to, to commemorate that and to say, look, these people are out there. They're, they're putting some amazing work out there, and we, we just wanted to celebrate that. Absolutely. Now, originally scheduled to be held at the 2020 Portsmouth Comic Con, it was decided to keep the year's award ceremony running to honour the creative talents being recognised. Um, I mean, just to kind of uh, talk about Portsmouth Comic Con, uh, this was a show that was going to take place in May. Um, and it is something that you've been heavily involved in, in terms of curating the guests and uh, basically putting the comics very much front and center of that particular event. Uh, we want to certainly um, show appreciation to uh, Portsmouth Comic Con yes, um, for, for, uh, for hosting uh, Tripwire Awards last year. And it's just a shame that uh, we weren't able to uh, do that this year. I mean, the, the whole idea with uh, Portsmouth Comic Con, uh, I mean, you must be absolutely gutted that it's not uh, going ahead this year. Well, it is very sad, but, you know, as you say, the world is in a very strange place at the moment. And it was originally going to be May. They put it back to August and now they put it back to next year. But it was just too much of a risk. You know, nobody knows what's going to happen in August, whether it's going to be safe 
you know, for large crowds to gather. So it makes perfect sense. I mean, it's very sad. We've been planning for months, done a lot of prep work for this, but it makes perfect sense for them to, to pull it, sadly. It's a real shame, you know, but it's just sometimes you just have to be pragmatic. Absolutely. Um, we um, are going to mention about uh, Portsmouth in a second or two in terms of the next year's event. But first, I think it's only fair that we uh, let you know who's put together these awards in terms of the uh, categories and also the, uh, the, the creating of the actual uh, yes. nominee yes. lists. And it is... Um, a very, I wouldn't say diverse list. It's something that we're going to, I think we've talked about this offline, that we're going to try our best to expand the judge uh, uh, panel next year and bring in some new voices and yeah, certainly some diverse voices. I mean, the thing to people to remember is that this is evolving. You know, it's only the second year that we've done it. So we're still quite a young awards. Sure. And we're learning each year and we're trying to do things differently. Um, so we, we want extra people on board next year. We, as you say, we want some new voices and some new eyes out there to, to make the uh, nominations more interesting and, and more varied and as you say more diverse so you know that's the, gonna be the plan for 2021 um so yeah we're, we're constantly learning absolutely well so, uh, i mean the judges just to uh, give you an update and i know that uh, at least one of them is watching at the moment live uh joel meadows uh, of course um we've got uh, ollie mcnamee he's the editor-in-chief of the comic on um uh, do check that uh, website out for all the latest in uh uh, comic and pop culture news, as indeed my own effort as well. But we'll get into that in a second. Tim Cundall, who is the uh, the creator of the uh, the Mass Movement blog, which covers uh, music as well as comics, and do he does a wonderful job. Absolutely. And for myself, um, I am the editor in chief of the Convention Collective, as well as doing an Englishman in San Diego. I also um, run this site, which um, is at the moment predominantly about pop culture. So it's comic reviews, um, some uh, uh, live action reviews as well. But we also cover convention news, including, for example, the uh, the latest updates on uh, New York Comic Con and the now sadly cancelled Star Wars uh, yes, celebration. Awesome. That's a shame. Which, yeah. indeed, indeed. Uh, but um, yeah, Portsmouth Comic Con returns next May, and uh, we'll be bringing uh, a Tripwire Awards 2021. Uh, next year, do we, we have the dates for uh, next year's um, event? Off the top of my head, it's normally the first weekend in May. So, yeah. apologies if people search for Portsmouth Comic Con online, it will have next year's dates. As I said, it's normally the first weekend in May. Yeah. So, I'm pretty sure it's the same. So, fair enough. Even before we know, I mean, you know, it's, it's yeah. as you say, it's just it's a strange time at the moment. Yeah. Excellent. Right. I think it's only fair then we just dive straight in. I mean, I like to say I've got my glass of bubbly. Um, oh, yeah. Let's take let's, let's take our first slurp as mm, as we bring our first category up. Yes. Um, it is uh, best writer. I can't remember who was going to go first. Is it yourself, Joel? Yeah, I don't mind. I'm quite happy to go first. Go for it. It's all yours. So these are the nominations for the Tripwire Awards 2020 best writer. The first nomination is Grant Morrison, Ram V, Kieran Gillen, Kelly Thompson, and Al Ewing. A fantastic lineup of uh, of nominated talent. If, you know, absolutely. No I mean, certainly the books that they've been bringing out um, over the last twelve months. I mean, Kieran with Die uh, for Image Comics and uh, Once and Future for Boom. Uh, Kelly has done an incredible job on uh, Captain Marvel. Um, yes, the, uh, just, uh, just <laughs> that's just an astonishing book. And of course, Ram V, or Ram, sorry, uh, if yes. I'm going to pronounce his name correctly. Um, I mean, well, at least Savage it's, Shores what, is a phenomenal book. I mean, it's, it's nominated a couple more times, deservedly I mean, so. It's just, I mean, it's such a powerful book, and Volta, an amazing company. I mean, they've been around for four years. It's amazing to think that only, in only four years, these people are, you know, they're they're punching. Know, well above their weight if you like they just do, they're just putting out some phenomenal books uh, i mean it's safe to say that a number of these categories were incredibly close um yes, yes, judged were. on this one i will yes. say that this was one of them um it was. Green 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 Land Land Land. with uh, liam shop is also an amazing book sure and and the winner you. is for best writer grant morrison Excellent stuff. We should have a round of applause soundtrack. I mean, we should have it, it, yeah, lots of clapping there. Absolutely. Uh, as it happens, we do have, but we do have a fabulous acceptance video that comes straight from the man himself. And Maestro, if you could cue that up. Oh, 
in your time. <laughs> Oh, do we have a sound issue here? <laughs> so there you go. That, if there's a video that's going to start us off, there you go. That's definitely the one. Thank you very much indeed to uh, Sir. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sir Grant Morrison, uh, a.k.a. Excellent stuff. Well done, Grant. Uh, congratulations to him. Tripwire Awards Best Writer. Okay, the next nominee, uh, next set of yeah, nominees for the right. category of Best Artist. Absolutely. Um, another close-knit um, uh, collection of... Uh, um, Incredible talent for this year. Joelle Jones, uh, which uh, certainly for a showcase work of, on Catwoman for DC Comics. Liam Sharp for The Green Lantern uh, for DC Comics. Marco Cicchetto, Star Wars and also Spider-Man for Marvel Comics. Stephanie Hans for Die for Image Comics. And Sanford Green for Bitterroot for Image Comics. Another amazing list. Very ta all very talented people. Astonishing lineup, isn't it? Yes. And the winner of Best Artist for Tripwire Wars 2020 is, round of uh, drum roll, there you go. It's Joel. Joel Jones. Incredible stuff. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, a exception speech from Joelle, but we will make sure that we get her award to her. Um, we congratulate her, a, a well-deserved choice, because she's a phenomenal artist. You say her work on Catwoman has been something else. Very talented. Just going from strength to strength, really, as an artist. Absolutely. Um, right. Um, I'm just, uh, we, people are actually saying that we, they couldn't hear the video. No. Uh, so no, if you could, it, so it, it's, it's fair enough. Um, I think what we'll do is then, uh, I think I'm going to try and correct that. Right. <laughs> so I think I know what the, the issue was, uh, and I'm going to sort that out now and, uh, we'll go back and we'll actually play that video again. We will. Uh, I mean, yeah. it's, you know, we've had a good start. Would you like me to carry on with best cover artist while you, uh, amend that? Um, no, well, I mean, we're ready to go. I mean, if you want, I can very quickly. Uh, go back and um, no, show that. It's a very second video. It's short, but to the point. So I think it's absolutely. Uh, we want to uh, we want to show that video. We want to showcase Grant's uh, unique talents. Absolutely. So let's uh, put that back on screen and uh, try that again. Try that again. Welcome to the readers of Tripwire Magazine. Grant Morrison is currently undisposed, but he's asked me to accept his award on his behalf. I'd like to thank every one of you, including Little Nelly, Goldfinger, and Scaramanga for voting for him for to be the best writer in Scotland, surrounded by midges in the world. Good night, everyone. That's more like it. Yes. There I you go. There you that's the scene very nicely for the awards. Absolutely. There you go. Uh, and indeed, we've got, uh, we've got Mick Gray saying Grant looks good. Uh, well, uh, yes. he's, always, he's always a very sort of smart looking man, so he knows. Absolutely. Right, uh, it is our uh, next category again then. It is a Best Cover Artist. Best cover artist. Uh, the floor floor. So we have five very talented people. The first nomination is David Mack uh, for various titles, including uh, American Gods for Dark Horse, far too many to mention, a, a very talented painter. The next nomination, Alex Ross for multiple Marvel titles and a number of DC books. Liam Sharp for The Green Lantern. Some very, very sharp, if you'll pardon the pun, covers. Uh, Jenny Frisson, again, a very talented artist. And finally, Jock, the master of composition, as this amazing Action Comics 1000 piece shows. And the winner is... Alex Ross. Alex Ross. And, and sadly, Mr. Ross was unable to give us uh, an acceptance video, but we'll be making sure that the statuette wings its way to him, and we just want to congratulate him, and we shall uh, offer him our bravo, bravo, very, very much bravo. So, right, um, this is a. Um, was this a? Uh, we've introduced a couple of uh, new categories this year. Was this a new one for this year? I believe it was. It may well have been. I know we introduced three new ones because I wanted to broaden it out a little bit, and a couple of people pointed out that you know that the awards would have it would have benefited from a, two or three new categories. So I think colorist might be new. I know editor is new. Absolutely. Uh, so, best colorist, uh, another bunch of incredible talents. Uh, Tamara Bavillon, Dave Stewart, um, uh, Tamara uh, for Wayward for Image Comics. Dave Stewart yeah, doing incredible work on Hellboy, but also uh, we've got uh, Image there from 
uh, the uh, the Silver Surfer Black, which he did a, an incredible uh, yes. job on. Yes, great. Yeah, Triona Farrell uh, doing work on Hit Girl in Mumbai. This yes. real vibrant um, uh, color work that she did, uh, as indeed the uh, the team uh, said when they were talking about the book. It yes. was um, something that uh, smelled and felt like India. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant stuff. A Stone Vittorio uh, for well, the well, South Shores. Uh, Savage Shores just is a book which really comes to life on the page. And, you know, his colouring has been phenomenal. You look at that, just the richness of the tones and the different palettes, just, just incredible, really. And uh, Laura Oldred, uh, specifically for her work on Bowie for Insight Comics. And the winner for Best yes. Colourist, Trip Wire yes. Wars 2020, is... Yes. Dave Stewart. A very <laughs> worthy... Very, winner. very uh, Congratulations, sir. In fact, I'm going to take a slurp for that. Excellent stuff. As well. As it happens, we'll take that slurp while we hear from the man himself. Indeed. Hey, Trip Wire readers. This is David Stewart. Um, I want to thank you for choosing me for best colorist. Um, that's a really fantastic and wonderful award. And um, I appreciate the support. And um, it's uh, always a surprise to me. <laughs> but uh, thank you very much. Excellent stuff. Dave Stewart there. Triple R Awards Best Cover Artist. Excellent. Colorist. Colorist, sorry. OK, it's all yours. Okay, so now it's my turn for Best Letterer, obviously. The letter plays an integral part in comics, and these five are at the top of their craft. The first nomination is Aditya Bidikar. Again, just working on a lot of different titles. Tom Wozniczowski, his work on The Green Lantern. Travis Lanham, again, a lot of different books for Image and for Boom. Again, a very impressive CV. Jim Campbell, again, another letterer whose work is seen far and wide across a number of different books. And finally, Clem Robbins, a veteran of, of comics lettering who's been around for many, many decades. And the winner is, drumroll. Drumroll. Best, best letterer is Tom Orzechowski, a man with a CV that goes back a long way. And sadly, we don't have a video from Tom because he's, uh, he was unable to, to get us a video, but we're making sure his statue has to be coming to him very shortly. And congratulations, that deserves a round of applause. Absolutely. Um, I mean, I, 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 to myself, I would certainly add, uh, if you haven't checked out Green Lantern from uh, uh, DC Comics from Grant. And, from, and the lettering is something else. It, so. it really is an incredible piece of work. Uh, Scott uh, Dumbia saying, yay, Tom, congratulations. Um, best new series. Best new series uh, sponsored by Ace Comics. Uh, now, Ace Comics is a store of which I don't think I've actually put all of the uh, locations up because there's South End on Sea and Ace also Comics. Essex. But you say they've got a, another store as well? They own a shop in Colchester. Their main shop is based in Colchester, and they've been around for many years. And the owner is somebody that I know quite well. But it's it's a great shop. It's a phenomenal shop. It's got a, a lot of great kind of local customers, and it's been around for many years. And they do a great job. And and they are reopening. I believe the South End is open today, and I think Colchester is opening in two weeks. So we wish them the best of luck. And and it's a great place. Absolutely. And you can find out more about Ace Comics at acecomics.co.uk. They're the sponsor for this particular uh, category, Best New Series, uh, which the nominations are Conan the Barbarian uh, with uh, Jason Aaron and Mahmoud Azra uh, for, on Marvel Comics, Hellblazer, uh, published by Black Label DC Comics and put together by Cy Spurrier and Aaron Campbell, Champions by Jim Zub and Stephen Cummings, published by Marvel Comics, Dying is Easy, Joe Hill and Martin Simmons partnering up for uh, IDW Publishing, and the plot, Michael Morisi, Tim Daniel, and Joshua Hickson for Vault Comics. And the winner for Tripwire Awards Best New Series is, drumroll, Conan the Barbarian. Excellent stuff. Jason Aaron and Mahmoud Kazra for uh, Marvel Comics. And as it happens, yeah, we, have, them. Yes, we uh, managed to have uh, got word from both of those particular names. So here's Mahmoud first. Hello there, this is Mahmoud Asrar. Um, working on Conan the Barbarian has been a very special experience for me. Uh, what made it even better was working on it with Jason Aaron and uh, Matt Wilson. Uh, in that regard, it is it means a lot that our work is appreciated and that we are awarded for it. Uh, Krom may not care, but I do. 
Uh, so thank you very much. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Thank you very much indeed, Mahmood. And like yeah, I Jason, say, Aaron. Jason Aaron, who uh, got a very last minute video in. Thank you very much indeed to Jason. Hey, this is Jason Aaron, writer of Conan the Barbarian. I just want to say thank you very much for this Tripwire Award. This uh, book was really special for me. It was a long time dream that I've wanted to write Conan since I was probably 12 years old, uh, growing up reading those Robert E. Howard paperbacks over and over. So I'm super proud of how this, this story turned out, this series turned out. Um, thanks in large part to really amazing art team, um, including um, our main artist, Mahmoud Azrar, and colorist, Matt Wilson, and then our fill-in artist, Gerardo Zafino, and cover artist, Esad Ribic, and everybody from Marvel, specifically our editor, Mark Basso, and editor-in-chief, C.B. Sobolski. So thank you to all of them for making this book happen. Thank you to all of you for this award. You will definitely see me doing more Conan in the future. I can't wait. Um, but for now, uh, I need to trim my beard. <laughs> Brilliant. Fantastic. And they both deserve Thank you very much indeed, to, uh, Jason, for getting that video in. Brilliant. So congratulations to both of them. Absolutely. Right. Next category is uh, all yours. Uh, uh, so Take it away. Is, uh, best publisher. And the nominations are IDW Publishing, publishing some great books. Dark Horse Comics, again, an incredible line for a company to be around for over 30 years. Boom Studios, going from strength to strength, seemingly every month. Ahoy Comics, again, some fabulous books. And TKO Studios. And I think the, well, I mean, just to very quickly talk about those, I mean, I think the great thing about this particular lineup of um, uh, publishing houses, it's not only the established, it's also the new bloods as well, the ones that are also taking yeah, some interesting um, methods and uh, uh, takes on how to actually uh, get books in and the reading styles um yeah. it's uh, uh, some new and uh, challenging ways of doing that so oh, definitely so this is a great, yeah. great lineup and um, as you say we're very pleased that we've managed to incorporate some new some new companies there absolutely indeed so the winner is <coughs> drum roll is dark horse oh. Comics. excellent stuff. congratulations <laughs> well, uh, congratulations the company and we do have a video from from its publisher and founder mike richardson so if you can cue that up Hi, I'm Mike Richardson, CEO and publisher of Dark Horse Comics. You know, we do our best here to make great comics and stories that will stand the test of time. We're lucky enough to work with some of the greatest talent from around the world. It's an honor to be recognized as publisher of the year. And on behalf of the creators who work with us and everyone here at Dark Horse, I want to thank the great people at Tripwire. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Um, I think it's safe to say that, uh, I mean, what um, Dark Horse have been doing over the last uh, year, I mean, they've been really kind of pushing boundaries left, right and centre. So it's, it's very much um, uh, a testament to uh, uh, the votes that came in. Uh, don't forget, while we did put together the shortlist, it was all your votes. It was all the, uh, the, the people yeah, who yeah, love comic books. Well, but it's just to do with the members of the public. and But things like something like Dark Horse was interesting. If you look at something like Black Hammer, which is a phenomenal book, which is you know spun out into a number of different series and has been picked up, if I'm right, for television yeah. and possibly film. It's it's a testament to Dark Horse. You know, they they've they've changed their line. They've had to adapt their line for a number of different reasons yeah. uh, over the last few years. But they're, they're an amazing company. They've adapted, yeah. evolved, and and they do some amazing work. I think it's only fair to say we're, um, we're raising right a glass. Through first bunch. Let's raise a glass to uh, the, the winners so far. So we've had, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. so far we're not finished yet. So, yeah, because uh, if I'm, yeah, come on, let's celebrate by getting slightly piddled. <laughs> um, okay, let's go to our uh, next round and of uh, incredible talents. And this is one that's actually sponsored by my own effort, uh, sponsored by the Convention Collective, and it is Best New Talent. Um, just to explain what the uh, the convention collective is um it's a website that was originally designed to be a uh, site predominantly for con news um which is a little bit niche in itself but as it happens it has grown to uh, take on board a whole bunch of uh, other um avenues of interest sandbox which is where our pop culture 
uh, post um, lineup. Uh, Mark Serby has his own exclamation mark uh, <laughs> pay, uh, pages on the site. And I have my own An Englishman in San Diego uh, blog, which has moved over to the Convention Collective. Um, the, I put a number of quotes up uh, on the, the site, but certainly uh, the one that I always go to is this one that got sent to me. Trying to explain a con to non-con people, I say it's like going to the mothership. We are missing the conventions this year, and uh, we're missing. They we're missing. Be the, they will be back. No question. It's only a. It's a temporary blip, and they'll be back. They'll be back you know, stronger than ever. Absolutely. <clears throat> you find out more at theconventioncollective.com. Right. Best new talent. Like I say, it's uh, an award that I wanted to uh, definitely uh, back because um, it is the new breed. It's the new it's generation very, of incredible it's, talent. It's watching. Yeah. Over the next year, is it my turn? Yeah. It's mine. It's my. It's mine. Okay. My award. <laughs> it's um, George Fournay, um, who is just. Um, you to work on Batman, who is is a, is a name already to watch. You can see him getting a regular book before too long, and his work is distinctive. It has the flavour of of the classic while bringing something you know modern at the same time. Yeah, I mean, the, the work he did on Batman is just phenomenal. Michael Morisi um, is a writer of some real promise. Um, the work he's done on the plot shows that he has a real sense of tone and texture. Uh, very uh, some, Someone to definitely keep your eye out for. J.P. Onan uh, is just someone who um, has impressed uh, everyone who's seen his work. Um, very much uh, someone, uh, again, to keep an eye on. Beelzebub's is just a phenomenal book. Jacob Phillips, um, colorist, artist in his own right. Talk, I guess. And uh, yeah, if you have not checked out his work, um, his Eisner winning work. Yeah. Uh, I know he's in Best New Talent, but uh, Eisner winner already. And Zoe Thurgood, who is just putting out personal, uh, intense, and deeply emotional uh, comics. Just a, a, a range of brilliant names who you are going to see further and uh, faster and fire further. Uh, over the course of uh, the coming years. And the winner of Best New Talent for Trip Y Awards is, drum roll, oh. is George Fornes. Excellent stuff so, indeed. Sadly, he didn't get us a video in time, but we'll be making sure yes, he, he get... did. Oh, he did. He did. Oh, it's all right. Sorry, it's been a long day. Hi to everybody from Barcelona. I'm Jorge Fornes, and this is my studio. I'm working as always. Uh, I would like to say thank you for this award, and I'm very really excited to receive it. Sadly, this year I have not been able to pick up in person, but I hope to have the chance to visit the festival in some next edition. Thank you very much again to the organizers and to all the people who have voted for me. And I have been in this job for a short time. It's a hard work, but you make it worthwhile. And I hope you continue enjoying my work for a long time. Thank you very much again, and big thanks for my friends to UK. See you soon. Oh, fantastic. Um, and not only that, but we heard at the beginning how to correctly pronounce his name as well, which is always a bonus. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, do check out his work. It, it really yeah, is phenomenal stuff. Absolutely. So all yours, job. Okay, so the next nomination is for Best Original Graphic Novel. We had five to choose from, and the first nomination is Helder and the Mounted King by Luke Pearson, published by Flying Eye Books. A great kid's book. Bad Weekend by Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips from Image. Again, another phenomenal book. Snow Glass and Apples by Neil Gaiman and Colleen Duran from Dark Horse. Again, a very strong contender. Our Encounters with Evil by Mike Mignola and Warwick Johnson Cadwell, published by Dark Horse Comics. And our final choice is Lieberstrasse by Greg Lockhart and Tom Fish from Comicsology Originals. And the winner is... Drum roll. Drum roll, there you go. It's bad oh, week. Wow. Are you Phillips from Image? It's the second uh, Tripwire Award for Mr. Phillips, but it is certainly much deserved. And here is uh, Sean's short thank you. It is, it is short as well. <laughs> but it's short and okay, it's Bad Weekend won Best Divisional Gravity Novel this year's Tripwire Awards. Thanks from me, Ed Brubaker, and Jake Phillips for all the votes. And there you go, short but sweet. Um, if, he said we had to say, and again, much deserved. They do phenomenal work. They're just incredible, really. Absolutely. Right, best collection. Um, this is um, the best um, pulling together of uh, already uh, published um, material in exciting 
um, presentations, either with additional material uh, in the way that the uh, the book has been put together in a physical form, um, just a, a celebration of the way that a publisher can really bring um, a collected uh, work to life. Exactly. And the uh, the nominations are Judge Dread, The Small House, uh, put together by Rebellion Publishing. Bill Sienkiewicz for Revolution Volume 1, that massive tome uh, published by Six Foot Press. The Green Lantern by DC Comics. Um, some incredible behind-the-scenes work which uh, Liam uh, shares in the back of that particular collection. Yes. These Savage Shores, a sumptuous book, which, um, quite frankly, this picture does not give credit for. The it way that Vault, the way Vault Comics uh, put together, uh, certainly the, the sleeve for it, absolutely astonishing. And the amazing little bird from uh, Image Comics. Not only a great collection, uh, putting some fantastic uh, essays at the back of the book, but also just the book itself um, was groundbreaking for the last uh, year. And the winner for uh, Trick Wire Wars 2020 Best Collection goes to... Bill Sienkiewicz, uh, Revolution Volume 1, of course. Uh, speak for the press. Bravo, Squire. And as it happens... We have a we have from Mr. Sienkiewicz himself. Indeed. Hi, this is Bill Sienkiewicz in uh, sunny, hot Los Angeles. I uh, wanted to thank you all, Joel, everyone at Tripwire, everyone who voted for, uh, for this incredible honor of... Uh, Revolution uh, as best art book. Um, it, it means a lot. Uh, it means a great deal, especially these days. Uh, it's always nice to uh, be nominated and, and uh, you know, it really is. You know, of course, winning is nice. Uh, but uh, I, I can't begin to thank you all enough. And I hope uh, uh, that you are all well and all safe and your loved ones and family and friends uh, are uh, are doing as well as could be expected if not better uh, during this uh, and I you know I'm glad that um, like if we were together in person I would be uh, thanking each one of you individually um, and be also it would be you know without a mask maybe hopefully at some point in the future we can actually re return to some kind of normalcy but um, uh, but with mask or not, I think um, I think I'd stand out because it would probably have paint over it. <laughs> and, uh, um, <laughs> yeah, and I probably wouldn't be wearing my studio clothes. Uh, but then again, who knows? Anyway, thank you again, everybody. Um, be well, be safe, and um, to be continued. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Absolutely. Bill, congratulations. See you, sir. Glass raised. Um, is, um, I mean, when is they it? talk about it being a um, coffee table book, it's a massive piece of work, but it certainly showcases um, Bill's process. Um, it's an incredible piece of work. Revolution, Volume 1 from Six Foot First. Right. Uh, the next um, category is all yours, Joel. Take it away. So we have Best Editor. We have five uh, very talented people. And the nom first nomination is uh, Karen Berger for her work on Burger Books. And then we have Brady Webb, who works for Panini, bringing a lot of Marvel's uh, product to the UK. Shelley Bond, who's got a pretty impressive CV. Legend. <clears throat> Chris Ryle, head of IDW. Again, very impressive uh, body of work. And finally, we have Mark Doyle, who works at DC, heading up their Black Label imprint. <clears throat> and the winner is, drum roll, drum roll. Drum roll is Karen Berger, an alleged If you do have a video. Absolutely. <laughs> Hello out there. Thank you so much for this wonderful award. It's truly an honor to receive it. Thank you so much for voting for me. Thank you so much for reading Burger Books and supporting comics. Thank you so much to the writers and artists for their talent and creativity and whose work makes me look good. Thanks to Ray Boyadis, my assistant, for her wonderful help in, on these books. And thank you to Richard Bruning, graphic designer, art director, and my husband, who's been with me since the beginning, since before the beginning, in putting out these glorious books. Stay safe, everybody. Stay sound, stay strong, and support your local comic book shop. Take care.
Amen to that, Karen. Uh, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, it. I, I, it's a shame that a couple of the books that she was putting out, it got um, tied up with a number of uh, um, issues with their uh, publishers. Yes. Um, but with um, I'm I'm looking forward to the seeds returning because that was one of my favourite comics of the last couple of years. So looking forward to seeing what uh, uh, comes next from Karen and uh, Burger Books. Much deserved again. Another fabulous Indeed. choice. Right, uh, my turn. Uh, it's best comics related website and publication. Um, this is a collection of sites, but also um, we have ourselves uh, an entrant in here, which is very much physical based, uh, which is um, panel by panel, uh, which are starting to move into their one shots. Uh, yeah. So just incredible work from all, all of these. Yes. Uh, the first uh, nominee is panel by panel. Newsarama uh, getting itself uh, into uh, our shortlist. Down the Tubes, uh, an incredible um, celebration of British yes. um, uh, talent. Comic Scene UK, a new name on the block, but certainly making itself known on the high street. And in One of last year's awards, so um, yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. And Broken Frontier, uh, a erstwhile uh, celebrator of uh, small and independent press, certainly here in the UK, just um, very in-depth uh, in what they do to celebrate um, independent creators. Yes. And the winner of best comics related website or publication for 2020 is Newsarama. Garnering the most votes. Like I say, the shortlist may have been put together by uh, us as judges, but it was all about the, the, the votes that were uh, put forward. As it happens, we do have a word or two from um, Chris Arendt, who is, of course, um, uh, the editor in chief of Newsarama. Indeed. Hello, everyone. We at Newsarama genuinely appreciate receiving this award and are very proud of the hard work that we did in 2019 that led us to be nominated and ultimately receive this honor. It's unfortunate that we couldn't all be together at Portsmouth Comic Con to celebrate this together, but we look forward to seeing everyone at future conventions and other events to celebrate comics. Newsarama is a real team starting with Editor-in-Chief Mike Duran, to staff writer George Marston, reviews editor David Propose, and all of our writers genuinely put in hard work in 2019 and here in 2020 that, that led us to be chosen by the judges and the readers. This year has been a trying time for all of us, and this award has been a bright spot everyone here genuinely cherishes. To all of our readers, the Tripwire Awards judges, and the comic creators, publishing staffs, and other people within the comic industry that support us. Thank you for reading our work, and we look forward to continuing that in the future. Excellent stuff, and uh, very much deserved. Uh, Chris is watching, as he has. I just wanted to know, which is fantastic, so. Yeah, yeah, I'm certain that he'll uh, pass the word on. Right, yeah. we're now into um, uh, two categories which are kind of linked and sponsored by Knockabout Comics. Uh, we'll start with best small press and independent UK. Just to very quickly, I mean, I don't know if you want to uh, do this actually, Joel. Uh, this is talking about talking about knockabout. Well, knockabout have been around for a hell of a long time, been publishing all manner of great British indie comics. Um, you know, they they they've been around for decades since the 1970s and publishing Hunt Emerson's work and and a load of other great stuff. Um, and they're just, a, they're a stalwart of the, of the British independent scene. I mean, publishing Alan Moore, as it says, they're Robert Crumb, Hunt Emerson, Eddie Campbell, everybody. The, you know, they're, they're, they're a regular fixture of, of UK comics. And you can find out more, of course, at knockaboutcomics.com. Right then, take it away, sir. It is a best small press independent. Go for it. Okay, and the first nomination is Self Made Hero, a great company that do graphic novels. They do translations and, and some other stuff, but they do, they're a phenomenal company. Time Bomb, great British indie company. They do a lot of kind of historical uh, stuff. Action UK, another great British company. Uh, Unbound, they do an interesting mix of graphic novels. And finally, we have BHP Comics, flying the flag for Scotland, with some very interesting product. And the winner is, drum roll, <laughs> independent UK, is London-based self-made hero. Ah, oh, congratulations. Yeah, congratulations to them. We have a video from Emma, who runs the company. Uh, Maestro, if you'll cue that up. Evan, that's 13 years ago. Oh, hang on and a second. And self-made hero, Evan, that's 13. years ago. And okay, tell you what, I'm going to come back to that. 
Okay. Right, I, think it, that's right. interesting. I will I will sort that video out, I promise. That's fine. Anyway, well, congratulations. <laughs> and we'll move on. I'll do the next category as well, if you like. Um, Absolutely. Go for it. Small Press Independent US, also sponsored by Knockabout. Again, we have very we have five very strong contenders. The first nomination is TKO Presents, great line of books. Dynamite Editions, some very strong licensed titles. Drawn and Quarterly, another very established indie American publisher, or Canadian, I should say. Humanoids, again, doing some very interesting titles. And then the final nomination is Vault Comics. Well, we need to say no more. I mean, phenomenal company. And the winner is, drum roll. Drum roll, please. Drum roll is, is Vault Comics. I mean, much deserved. Great company. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yeah, they were Acceptance video um, from them. Yeah, we do. Um, indeed, we have something a little bit special as well at the end as well. Yes. Hi, I'm Damien Wassel, publisher of Vault Comics. And I'm Adrian Wassel, editor-in-chief of Vault Comics. And we're honored to accept the 2020 Tripwire Award for Best U.S. Independent Publisher. But the honor really goes to all the amazing creators that make our books possible. Thank you guys for being so awesome. And so thank you to Tripwire, thank you to all of our creators, thank you to everybody else at Vault who makes these books possible, and thank you to the fans. Thanks, guys. And a bit of a happy dance as well. <laughs> a little bit of working, but I guess you, know, you, uh, you can't be there. Oh, well done, uh, chaps. Uh, congratulations <laughs> indeed to them. Right. One of them. Role of we have indeed. Uh, this I'll leave entirely to you to explain as well uh, what the the role of honour really is all about. Of course. Well, the role of honour is just a chance for us to commemorate people who've had many years in the industry and to say to them, well, well just to thank them for their years of work. You know, putting so much into the industry. So these are these are veterans. You know, these are people who've been around for many decades, working in either UK or US comics, working as either an editor or a writer or an artist. And as I said, just just thanking them, you know, for their years of work, really. So uh... um, we have ourselves a bunch of people that have been nominated uh, for the role of honor this year. Uh, well, of course, we might as well uh, take the time to uh, thank our sponsor. Go for it. Indeed. Um, so the nominations for the role of honor for 2020 are. OK. Mike Mignola. Joe Kubert, Pat Mills, Alex Ross, P. Craig Russell, Alan Moore, Dave Gibbons, Louise Simonson, and Eric Stevenson. And the role of honor, I oh, misspelled, I'm afraid. Which one? Which one? Role of honor has got two L's. It's role of honor. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But the role I, can't of honor, you, I can't believe you're pointing that out for me. Thank role you. Of honor spelt correctly. <laughs> we, we, we've chosen two people. The first one is, is Mike Mignola for his. Amazing work as creator of Hellboy. I mean, what a phenomenal artist. I mean, his body of work is incredible. Starting work as a, as a, as a Marvel artist and then moving on and, you know, creating his own niche. And, you know, I can't think of anybody else like Mignola currently in comics. I mean, the, the man's just, he's amazing. Absolutely. Well, we do have, we're very lucky. We have a, an acceptance speech from Mike himself. So, Maestro, if you'll, uh, if you'll cue that. Thank you, Joel, and anyone and everyone else involved in giving me this award. Apparently, uh, it's an award for my career, which means I'm getting an award for me uh, just being me, which is the last thing on earth I ever thought I'd get awards for. Um, so thank you very much. Congratulations so, for the first one, and we have a second choice. Like I say, um, just uh, the, just to correct the wording. I mean, if you're going to correct me on Roll of Honor, I'm going to correct you because you did say that, um, uh, that Mike Manolo we chose. We didn't choose. Um, oh, no, we uh, didn't choose. No, no. The, 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 sorry, the the voters chose. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and the winner, uh, the next uh, recipient of the Roll of Honor for uh, for uh, this year is is none other than, than Alan Moore. Again, a man who sort of needs no introduction. The writer of uh, the creator of Watchmen, Legion of Gentlemen, V for Vendetta, with a, with an amazing CV, you know, who do change arguably change comics. Now, as it happens, we don't no, we don't, we don't have it. No, yeah. no, we, we don't. don't have none more. But we have, <laughs> we, we, unfortunately, we don't know anything, but we'll make sure that he gets the statuette, and we would just like to congratulate him uh, for for being picked by our voters as our second choice. You know, last year we had. 
I think we had uh, Walter Simonson, I think we had Bill Sienkiewicz last year as well. So the point, the point of the role of honour is to populate it with people who are, who've put so much into the industry in their decades of work and we just wanted to reflect that and to put some, and give them something back, really. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I did want to uh, very quickly show this uh, Emma Haley video, uh, which is from Self Made Hero. Because of course, I want to uh, uh, to show her uh, video off, uh, but we'll do that in a second. Yes. As soon as I'm able to kind of get this <laughs> loaded, which I'm kind of struggling with at the moment, I really want to show her video because um, she deserves all the. Of course. The, it's in the world um but i appear to be struggling at this point uh the technology is fighting me we can try and see if we can sort that out for when it goes on youtube properly after after the live ceremony and see if we can if we can fix that uh, i'll try and get that working i will promise to try and get that working <laughs> let's see if i can uh, just drag, drag that in there no nope, it's not having it at all typical okay um, we'll get that video sorted out, but um, certainly I think it's safe to say thank you so much indeed to uh, um, all of our um, uh, incredible uh, recipients uh, for the 2020 awards. Joel, have you got any last any last words? Well, I'd just like to thank everyone for watching this and everyone for voting. Um, and I'd like to thank Ollie and yourself and Tim for helping us to put the uh, nominees together. Um, it, it has been a, an unusual ceremony, but I think I'd like to think hopefully it went off quite well. And uh, and thank you for for co-hosting it, and, and and we'll see everybody next year. And and, and thanks for watching. Um, and uh, and yes, and it's, it's a shock, Dan, isn't it? Um, I know. I, I, heaven knows we tried. We were thinking about having a man in a dark room with the mum <laughs> saying, uh, but we decided that we weren't going to do that. So we'd like to thank everyone for voting. Congratulate all the winners and grace all the nominees and. We're going to be starting work on the next awards very shortly. So, so thanks again and, and thanks for watching and thanks for voting. Absolutely. Take care. Thank you very much indeed. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Uh, from us, uh, we will be back with uh, the Tripwire Awards 2021. Indeed. As things return to some kind of normality next year. From and us, and from we, myself. Before, before we go, I have, to, I have to plug that people can go to tripwiremagazine.co.uk uh, for all of their comic genre and uh, TV and film features, news, interviews. And, of course, you can go to the conventioncollective.com for all of your convention needs. Um, I'd like to thank Leonard and I'd like to thank everyone for watching. And it's been, a, it's been a fun hour, and we'll see everyone soon. Absolutely. Take care. Stay Take safe. Care. And stay we'll safe. See you soon. Take care.